quite a long way to go out there. I'm going to make a video of him meaning to me for a very long time. Oh, this is going to give me so much pleasure after so many years of pain. I'm going to tell you how I ended up in an abusive relationship. It does happen. It's happened to quite a lot of people. It does. Very clever these abusers are, you know. They are. So we're going back to 2001. I was working as a senior administrator within the University of Derby within the student administration department. I started to clerk and I went my way up and blah 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 quite quickly. Um, a team, I worked for the U admissions department, that's the one I was at back then. So it's UCAS, so we had to, uh, well, we had to do all sorts anyway. Anyway, I'd never been to Birmingham before, never, ever, ever, never been. And I came down for a party and I met this cunt who turned out to be a cunt. Anyway, so I'm there at this party. <laughs> End up spending the night with him. Blah 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 blah. Come back to the arbor, don't think every night. And then he pursues me. And I'm like, alright, love my life, I'd recently died the year before. <laughs> Uh, and they're very clever these people because they, they approach you at a time of um, vulnerability and weakness and what happened in my life at that point was my mum and dad had uh, divorced after, well they were in the process of getting divorced after um, 25 years together, dad done his time good on you and uh, fucked off basically so I was residing at their family abode and uh, everyone else had gone, just me and mum and wait for it to be sold basically and uh, so vulnerable time really and they get their little claws in don't they and it weren't long, I went from being quite a successful person, good job, worked out five times a week, did all sorts, yeah very depressed, can't think why, maybe, maybe, it's because I met that cunt, right, destroyed my life, he did, for years, years, won't admit it, will you love, no, you're not an alcoholic are you love, no, you're not a head teacher now are you love, standing up every day in front of primary school pupils, with your history. God damn. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. So, we start commuting, seeing one another. I was like, uh, a new organisation was up and running because uh, some poor soul had died at the hands of social services in Birmingham. So a, ro a white paper was written in the government that said a new organisation should be born and that organisation was Connections. Well, my job skills matched that of Connections, so I went for a job, worked for the central team, Broad Street, uh, Birmingham, got the job and moved in. We moved to Forest Drive. In a two, why we needed two bedrooms? I don't God damn know. We had no kids. Had a two bedroom department, and the lady said uh, after six months you gotta go. So we had to look for somewhere else to live, and then get this. <laughs> How we fucking afford this? I do not know. Uh, got a three bedroom house for me and him. Um, and I used it, I didn't like it, I didn't want to live there, I think it's called Wentworth Park Avenue or something, like, I didn't want to live there. It's too fucking, but what do I want to live there for? And you know what he said? Sometimes, some decisions are made for you. Yeah. I was like, pfft, whatever. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, the rest of that. 
whilst we were living at Forest Drive, yeah. I caught him having his cock sucked by a homosexual. He shat in the bed. But he's not an alcoholic, okay? And uh, all this ensued and continued. Um, and then, gosh, what year is it? 2004, 2005. Good idea to buy an house in our age. We're mid twenties, blah 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 blah. Um, so his mum gave us five grand that's written down. If anything went tits up, she got this five grand back. So we brought this house, three bedroom house in Harborn, and um, he kicked my spine so badly the night before I went to sign the papers, I could barely get across as solicitors. And I'm walking across this bridge, holding on for dear life, going, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? I'm about to sign my name, something that's quite significant, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I did. Yeah. And I was an absolute slave. I can cook, I can clean, I can iron shirts to perfection. Had to do it every day for that cunt. Uh, have you um, done my shirt? <laughs> Here it is! And um, all this kind of stuff. Honestly, absolute motherfucking slave, yeah. Oh, stories I could tell you about him. And I will. I will, if I can be asked. He's an absolute pathetic piece of shit. Thinks he's really good, yeah. Do you know why he thinks he's good? Because he fluked, fluked a first in his degree, in a teaching degree. It's not hard really, it's predominantly practical, yeah? He wrote a really good dissertation. Woohoo! Everyone felt sorry for him because Dad died of cancer quite young. So did I, I imagine. Why oh, I stuck with that piece of shit, I do not know. Whenever I voice my opinion, silenced. Everyone knows him as having a drunk switcher. So one minute he's like, mm, no more. And then he goes, he's gone. Gone. Gone for the night. Gone for days. Honestly, gone. Couldn't bring him back from it. Honestly, I said to him, you and not bring in more than six bottles of wine in this house. He came, mind that? Because you fucking drink them and fuck me up, that's why. He came back from a short trip abroad, brought back in the bottle of absence and said, you taking the fucking piss, are ya? I'm not having absence with you in this house. Oh, poured it down the sink. Mm. He's burnt me, he's kicked my spine. You wouldn't think it, I wouldn't let him. <laughs> no, you toughen up, you know. He's done all sorts, all sorts, emotional, physical abuse, yeah. So I report this to the police, yeah. Right, in all honesty and all genuineness, yeah. And uh, they bring him in. Hmm. I thought, good, so you fucking should bring the cunt in. He's like looking at me like death. I'm like, fuck off, yeah. Guess who gets blamed? Me. Mm. You see, she's a bit bonkers. She's got a diagnosis for mental health. Blah, 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 blah. Things were very different in 2008. Well, they're not anymore, are you, motherfucking cunt? I'm not going to say on camera what I'd like to do and what I may do and what I'm capable of doing to you but believe you me it'll happen